In this video, you will learn how to clock in and out in Paylosity using a desktop for the different jobs you might have at the various branches or departments you work in with the YMCA of Greenville. On this login screen, you will enter in the company ID. This company ID is the same for all employees. The YMCA of Greenville, our number is 134430. Enter in your username and password. If you have not set up your account yet, you will want to go down to the bottom here and click on register new user. Once you click on that, you'll be, enter be able to enter all of your information to set up and create your account. Click on login. The next screen will bring you to set up your challenge questions. In this demonstration, I am going to skip for now, but make sure to always set up your security or challenge questions. If your screen defaults to the time and labor screen, this is your view. You'll see a time clock. You'll have the time clock right here, and it'll show you if you're currently clocked in or out. It will also show your last punch. You are going to click on clock in and transfer. This is what you will want to always use, as this will bring up the screen to select your branch, department, and job that you are working in. As you can see here, it defaults to your home department and branch. So for this one, Camp Greenville, Summer Resident Camp are my defaults. However, I will be working somewhere else right now. I click on the branch and I'm going to select Prisma Health Family YMCA. The department, I will be working in after school. And the job, I will be working as an after school counselor. As you can see here, all of the jobs that you have access to will be listed. You want to make sure that you are selecting the correct job that goes along with the correct department. For instance, I selected the after school child care department. I should not be selecting lifeguard. I will want to make sure to click on after school counselor. If I need to add any notes, I can do this. So maybe I was running late. I could leave a note for my supervisor here. Clocking in late due to traffic. Click save and that note will be there for your supervisor to see. Click on punch and here you'll see the clock in and transfer was saved successfully. You'll also notice right here in the history, you can see the time and the date that it was clocked in. To clock out, you simply just click on clock out. Let's say you want to leave a note for your supervisor. Maybe you were stuck talking with a parent and so I'm clocking out late due to a late parent and click on clock out. And you'll see here that clock out saved successfully. If you open up to your self-service portal, you also have the ability to clock in and out from this view as well. You'll use this time entry section. And again, you would click clock in and transfer, select the correct branch and department and job. Scroll down to save this recent would just show you the most recent save clock. So I click on save. However, there's a little bit of a glitch in the system because I'm moving too fast. So you typically just want to select one or the other in clocking in and out. If I click on launch time and attendance right here, it will take us back over to our time clock. So here you go. You can see that I have clocked in and I have clocked out. This is how you will clock in and out using the desktop version of Paylocity.